Okay, so as you can see, we have got a jelly plate. They have got some film on top and on the bottom. I need to peel the top and the bottom off. As you can see, they are like jelly, very firm jelly. You need to be very, very careful. Do not poke anything in this jelly because it will not be able to be used again. If you place it onto the desk, it will stick firmly and will not move. Then you need a roller, make sure it's clean, and a piece of paper next to you to get the excess off. So what we're going to look at today is layering um, with using prints. So first I'm going to put a tiny bit of paint on, you don't need a lot. You spread it across. And if we layer a piece of paper over the top, press down gently, and then firm as you get going. Now, during this process, get a kind of masking tape and place on the top. your paper does not move and you can replace the paper in the same way as you did the first time to get the layering effect. Peel it off slowly. And this is what you create. As you can see you've got roller marks so this is where you need to be careful or if you're intending to do it then obviously this is fantastic. Okay, place that to the side. And to have a different colour. Roller again. Lay your paper over. And peel off slowly. Okay, and this is the layered effect. As you can see, you have got the blue and the orange over the top. Now we're going to add some uh, string onto this to create a nice little pattern. <coughs> so I'm going to roll her a nice red. I'm going to drape the string over the piece of jelly. And you can move it around to get your desired effect. <coughs> then lay it over your piece of paper. And then press down hard. Make sure that you press all over the rope so you get all of those impressions. Okay. Now 
going to peel it off. And that is your desired effect. As you can see, the previous layers have came to the top and the red is over the over that. That's because the string has left this imprint. Now if you want to remove the string, then if we layer blue over the top of that, As you can see, you can still see the string. And now yeah, the same piece over the top. And press down hard. Again, you can see that the blue has picked up the rope design. Okay. And I'm going to do one more layer. This time I'm going to add some masking tape. This will block out any of the paint transferring. Do the work. Also, I'm going to add a couple of feathers. Again, that will create a nice imprint. a brand new piece of paper Turn off slowly as you can see created nice silhouettes. Peel my skin table and the feathers. There we go, a nice pattern created here and this is obviously stenciled the feathers and the masking tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice red paint over the top of that and that should pick up those patterns. I'm going to layer this work over the top. Place it down. And then peel off. As you can see, 
it has then coloured in the areas that was um, kept white and then obviously you can see the nice feathers that have came. Okay. Sadly the screen's locked so I can't take it off. <laughs> so it might have turned did you, did you, you locked on yourself didn't you? Oh yes I did, sorry. I thought it was you so.